seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two, three. What's up, guys? Welcome to today's vlog. Today, I've got something pretty cool for you guys. Uh, my friend Shrek is coming in to get his hair cut. So we're gonna do this men's cut. And the cool thing about this cut is that we, we don't do a tight fade. We give it texture, movement, and I also left a little bit of a fringy kind of feel right in the nape area. So it's pretty cool, unique. I think you're gonna like it. Let's get started with the step-by-step. -step. Here we go. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off. I did shampoo Shrek before I cut his hair. He had some product in his hair, and I think a lot of times we jump right into a haircut and we're like, let's just start cutting it. But it's good to get that product out of there, and then what I'm gonna do is go through and do a blow dry because Shrek has quite a few calyx within his hair. So he has a nice, fine texture of hair and a lot of calyx. So you can see how that kind of pops in the, in the back. And what I'm doing is I'm taking my Ergo paddle brush, I'm working the hair back and forth. What that's gonna do is work out that calyx. So we're creating with the heat on the blow dryer, we're creating flexibility within uh, that calyx. So it allows the hair to fall exactly the way that we want it. I'm gonna do the same thing on the front. So I'm pushing the hair back and forth. Um, what that's doing, again, using that heat to create flexibility in the base and then that's pretty much it. So once I got the hair dry, then I can go in and start my cut. Now, this is a typical salon uh, reality situation. I didn't wanna um, completely change his cut. When he came in, he said, you know what? I, I don't wanna go as short as we've been going. So what I wanted to do is just kind of alter the haircut that he has and create some textures. So I'm using uh, my T trimmer, went around his ear, and then I went through and I just, did a little detail work with that fringy area in the back. Some would call it kind of like, you know, if it was any longer, it would be like a soccer mullet in a way. This isn't mullety. It's just letting the texture live. And also you can notice that Shrek has a lot of calyx in the back of his hair. So having that extra length is kind of fun to play around with. So doing a lot of trimmer over comb. Um, what this is doing is just cleaning up the shape. So I'll look at if there's any weight imbalance within the haircut. It shouldn't be that much cutting because we've already done a pretty good haircut on him prior, uh, let's say three weeks ago, four weeks ago. So he has a pretty structured cut in there already. So I'm just making some adjustments to it using the trimmer over comb. Same thing on this side, pick up the hair. I'm using the looser teeth of my 339 comb from YS Park and just going through there and, uh, and like I said, cleaning it up. So now what I'll do in that fringe area in the back is uh, right at the nape, I'll lift the back hair up and then cut underneath it just so that he doesn't have neck hair. I mean, that's not really a style. So I want to go in, I want to leave it longer in the back, but take away the neck hair. So we just kind of go underneath it. So now I'm gonna move into my scissor work, and the scissor I chose to use today is the Mizutani DB20 scissor. This is pretty much my go-to scissor for everything. It's a 5.7 inch scissor, has a lot of power because of the shorter blade, and also it's nano powder metal steel, which helps grip the hair, has a more consistent cut, and stays sharper longer. So um, this is a scissor that we have available on freesaloneducation.com if you wanna check it out, uh, but it's definitely my go-to favorite scissor. So I'm gonna be working in the calic areas. You'll notice I elevate elevated the hair quite a bit, but I don't want to over direct any of his calic area. Uh, the more over direction I do, the less control I'm going to have in the back. So I'm just pulling the hair straight out from where it wants to live. And that's where I cut it because I did the blow dry earlier. It gave me that flexibility in the base of the hair. So when I go through and I cut around the calic, I get that nice fall. The challenge is we have to be teaching our guys how to style their hair, how to blow dry their hair, what product to use. Because the, the biggest thing here is that if I don't teach him how to blow dry his calic, then he's going to take his wet hair. He's going to throw product in it. And then it's going to have that separation in the back. The style's not going to look like it does when I'm done with it here. So we need to make sure that we're coaching our guys on how to style their hair at home and maintain the look. A blow dry on a guy's hair takes five minutes. I blow dry my hair every day. Even though I wear my hair kind of crazy up and out of control, it's still blown dry because the product is more effective that way. So I definitely want to get into this part. This is a slide cutting. What I'm doing is a half close of the scissor. So I comb all of his hair kind of forward towards the front. And what I'm going to do is just slide cut through and create some texture in the front fringe. I wanted to leave a little more density in the front of uh, Shrek's hair because um, it gets a little bit weaker and he has that um, kind of finer fabric of hair. So as I cut through it, I want to make sure that I keep the... Uh, 
the length in the hair, but just add a little texture to it, which will thicken his hair in the long run. So if you think about, um, if I just left it long and bulky on fine hair, sometimes when you add product to that, it makes it just look still fine. But if you add texture and pieces and movement, once I add that product to it, it kind of brings it to life and it makes it actually look fuller. So we're just going through this. At this point, I'm pulling the hair up. He's going to wear his hair off to one side. So I over direct the hair towards me, which just softens it and allows it to fall the opposite direction. So you can see how this shape is starting to form. Uh, it's nice and clean through the sides. It gets a little bit longer towards the nape. And also it's longer and textured on top. I'm going to do a little detail work with my DB20 throughout the uh, sideburn area. Just to clean that up, I don't always have to go through with a trimmer and, and really create a harsh line. Sometimes on a more textured cut, I like to have a softer feel. Um, even go up the hairline a little bit with the point of the scissor. And then the last thing that I'm going to do, uh, this is a really cool technique I learned a long time ago. Check out Ira Pope Sage on Instagram. It's at Ira. I'll spell it. Um, it's at Ira Pope Sage. Uh, this is called shingles. It's something that he did a long time ago, but it's a technique that I keep in my uh, in my toolbox, uh, you know, for later use. And when I'm doing guys' hair and I want to create a lot of texture, um, this is a great way to do it because it's pretty harsh. But with finer texture hair or even thick hair, when you go in and you cut these just chunks out of it, when you put product in the hair, it just really comes to life and it adds a lot of texture. You could see the hit, the like valleys in in the hair, the depth in the haircut. Um, but once you comb it out, it pretty much goes away. But once you add product to it, that's when you really see it uh, form. So you can see how it takes the chunk out, but then as soon as you comb it, it disappears. So, but once you get that product in there, that's when you'll see it really change. So I'm gonna go through, finish off with a blow dry. Now this blow dry is a little bit different than the original one because we're not trying to smooth out any calyx or anything. We're just getting rid of the loose hairs, but also um, blow drying it in the direction that I actually wanna style it. So if I wanna give it some volume at this point, I can do that. Uh, I'm going through with a little bit more of a smoothed out blow dry. And now I'm gonna add my product, which is today Mitch uh, Reformer by Paul Mitchell. Uh, this is their men's uh, category, men's line. Um, so I'm gonna go through, Reformer has a pretty, pretty solid hold. I would say it's not the, the firmest hold you've ever had, but it's definitely a product that will hold your style all day. If you want something with a little firmer hold, you can go with Material, which is in the same line, but has definitely a really firm grip. So we're going to add this. Now, what I want you to focus on is I take the product, put it all through my hands, basically turn my hands white. And then as I start to work the product in, I start in the back. The back of his head has the most density. So why would I wipe all of the product, the thickest part of the product on the very front of the hair, I wouldn't want to do that because then it would just create uh, too much separation and make his hair look thinner. So I start in the back, start wiping the product in, work it around the calic area, then through the top, then the last thing that I do is work the front of the hair. That's really gonna help saturate the hair with the product evenly. I think a lot of guys have that challenge where they just take the hair, uh, put a bunch of product in their hand and their wet hair and they shove it up into the front. That, there's nothing good that's going to come of that. If, if you put ha product in your wet hair, it dilutes the product like we talked about. It dilutes the product. You don't get to hold all day. So just learn the blow dry. Work the hair back and forth. I Honestly, I keep a blow dryer right next to my bed. It's already plugged in. I blow dry really fast in the morning. It takes me five minutes. And then I go through. I put my product in and we're good to go. So my pro my process does not take any longer, but you could see the difference in the result. You get that texture. His hair looks a lot thicker than it would if it was styled wet. And you really get the, uh, the right outcome from the product as you put it through. So now what I'm doing is just some detail work. I go through and I look at his head shape and I wanted to create some height to kind of elongate his face a little bit and also build up some height in that crown area. This is the end result. This is one of my favorite haircuts I've probably ever done. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you have any questions, let me know as well. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, and if you like Shrek's cut, then hit the like button, hit the share button, share this video with all of your friends out there. And also, if you want to save 20% on freesaloneducation.com on scissors, carving combs, 
brushes, all different kinds of products, then use the code MATTBECKVLOG at checkout. You'll get 20% off your purchase. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, if you're not a hairdresser, but you're inspired by this video and you want to cut like this, then go to hairsalonlocator.com. That is our website where we put all of our FSE partner salons. So if you're looking for a great salon out there, uh, all over the country, all over the world, then go to hairsalonlocator.com, put in your zip code, and you'll find a salon that's associated with us somewhere, and you can go get your hair done there. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.